Jeremy was next to roll up. It's a Maserati. Maserati Marac. Marac. Yep. Right. Possibly the prettiest supercar ever made. Seven thousand pounds. About three grand less than than me. That's, that's... It's a spare wheel. Hang on, is this a V? They're a V6, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. But it's brilliant engine in this. Honestly, the guy. The, yeah, the guy I bought it from just spent ten thousand quid rebuilding that engine. Sold the whole car for seven. Shows how much Gentle the rest of, of it's worth. The Quattroporte has now been with us for six years, but if anything, over that time, I think it's got even better looking. Oh, it has. You're it not has. joking. It. I remember when this first came out, I thought it looked like a Vauxhall Cresta. Yes, you did. But now it's just spectacularly well balanced. And it's just perfect. cool, though, as yeah, well. Isn't it is. Because when you see someone getting out of these, the passers by who they are, because it's like a mafia hitman. I like these. Oh, those are spectacular. They work for me. When you sum up the looks of these, You've got the ballet dancer, the hitman, and someone who's been... Found at the bottom of a lake after two weeks. Yes. And this is the man who threw him there. <laughs> <laughs> Three, yeah. two, one. Oh. They sold a thousand. What are you going to say? Well, I was going to say that they sold a thousand of those Maseratis over a five-year period, but over the same five years, they sold nearly 15,000 Mercedes S-Class. He's coming back. You know the Ferrari F430? What? It even has a button marked race on the dashboard. Speeds up the gear changes, backs off the traction control, and turns the exhaust all the way up to 11. Under the bonnet, the V8 has been tweaked, so it's now firing 444 horsepower at the rear wheels. And the results of all this are dramatic. We step inside past these elegant hinges and this dainty welding to find that it is a proper four-seater. We also find a clock such as you would give to Dave Brent on his retirement. And we find something which Maserati calls cambio corsa. We call it stupid flappy Formula One gearbox. Great. And it won't start. Why won't it start? Just look at it, it's got to be neutral. Will you go into neutral now? My foot's on the brake. There we are, neutral. The suspension has stiffened up. And there's a little flap in the exhaust that opens. So the noise, well, that. <laughs> I've got something more important to talk about. This is a new Maserati. Really? OK, this is the new uh, Maserati 4x4, OK? I think it looks fantastic, uh, but there are some odd things about it. Maserati say that, unlike any other big 4x4, it has a luxury atmosphere. Cos, you know, every time I get in a Range Rover, I always think, oh, no, I've accidentally got into a cow shed. Yeah. <laughs> and then they say there are no off-roaders that give a sporty feel. Well, what about the... Porsche Cayenne, or the Mercedes ML63. BMW X5, exactly. all, that, all of yeah. that. Yeah. It, I think Maserati, they're the sort of company that go, you know, we've invented a new type of watch, and what makes it really good is you can wear it on your wrist. This is quite awkward, isn't it? Because somebody's going to have to tell them, hey, Maserati, it's been done. It's actually there. You're not gonna... What I love about this, though, is it's called the Kubang, right? Which, being a Maserati, is the noise it will make the day the warranty runs out. <laughs> So all you need to do is add to that another engine to provide the lift and another engine to provide the thrust there you go. and some skirts yeah. around the bottom. It's going to have to be quite big, this car. But they're all big cars. Yeah, yeah. Mercedes S-Class, that's big. Rolls-Royce Phantom, that's massive. It's expensive. Maserati Quattroporte, you can pick those up for next to nothing. You can put three engines in that and skirts and everything. 
This is one of the cars from the company's long and illustrious history. A 150 mile an hour sports saloon called the Bi Turbo. Only this is no ordinary Bi Turbo. It's mine. I've just bought it, and this is what I think of it. The Biturbo got what it deserved because it was an affront to one of the best badgers in the business. Quieting that big V12 down doesn't really do anything because it's like adding a splash of orange juice to a pint of gin. It's still going to make you very, very grand. The 630 horsepower MC12 goes from 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds. Flat out, it'll be doing 208. Definitely. Yeah, that, yeah. that is Scottish. Yeah. <laughs> I think we can end conversations too far. Right good. now, all over the world, people by and large buy very boring cars. I met a man yesterday who just spent £8,000 on a five year old Ford Focus, and I thought, why did you do that? If you've got £8,000 to spend, why didn't you buy a used Maserati? And I think it's because people believe if you buy a used exotic Italian car for £8,000, it's going to break down all the time. Yes, but will it? To find out, we actually put our own money on the line and we each went out and bought a second-hand Maserati. Yes, and then we decided that cars this glamorous and this exciting couldn't possibly be tested in Britain. So we decided to meet up in continental Europe. This is the racetrack we selected. It's just 60 miles from Calais and I arrived bright and early. is a Maserati by turbo First car in the world to be fitted with two turbochargers. And this particular example is the sought-after S model. And it's only done 24,000 miles. And yet, despite that, all I paid for it was £7,950. So you get all this glamour, all this power, all that badge, for less than you pay in the UK, for a six-year-old Toyota Pius. Oh. Why has Richard Hammond arrived in a Ford Cortina? Oh, no, wait, it isn't a Ford Cortina. It's another Biturbo. No, this is the 430. It isn't. It is. Biturbo. This isn't a Biturbo. It is. That's a Biturbo. They will... Hammond, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but the Ghibli, the Racing, the Karif, the Chamel, the 222 and the 430. They were all the same car, they haven't got any money. You want to hear this baby fire up? <laughs> Get out, save yourself! Yes! Feel the power of that! Have you seen all this? There's no other word for it. Oil. Yeah, that... Yeah. Yeah. Happily, before any more could flood out, James arrived. Ever seen a more ungainly looking machine? What's the matter? Is your door broken? No, I'm broken. Can you hold the door for me? Thank you. 